I think we got what we want. We're just going to have to knock that ricasso down just a little bit, even with the blade there. It kind of swoops down a little bit. We'll knock it off even with the blade. Then I think we're going to have what we want. Get ready to go to final shaping as far as the buffing goes. Get that all cleaned up. We'll be ready for heat treat. Okay, so here's where we're at on our folding knife project. And this is not something I had to do. It's not something that's necessarily really, really useful. I just wanted to play with it, see if I can make a folding knife that would be practical and would work um, out of scrapyard material. This is a piece of rebar. It was about 10 inches long and a broken file and a 16-penny nail. That's all I used to make this knife with. Um, I need to protect this point just a little bit more. That just means I need to bend this handle over just a shade when I get ready to heat treat it. I'll heat it up and bend it over right before heat treat and that'll be good there. It takes a little bit of tweaking and grind work and playing around to get exactly what you want with this thing. But the way this is working for me right now is it's held by friction because this is offset and it becomes a spring. And you'll hear it pop right there and that pops it over into place so that the blade locks right there and that locks your blade in place and now it's locked from coming backwards and you have a handle that you can use and choke up on the knife there and do any fine carving that you want to do when you get ready to fold the knife over it will jump past that spring easy enough on that ramp but when you come up around here to fold it you just push that spring over slightly and it rides right along the edge of that spring to fold back up and folds into that configuration you hear it pop and it locks in place and you're good you get ready to fold it back up you just come around push that spring over slightly and it folds along it hold, held by friction so like I said I think the only thing I need to do is maybe tilt this handle just a shade to get this point a little bit more protected other than that it's in pretty good shape so I'm going to go ahead and start to buff it okay guys so here we are prior to going into the oven and you can see this mechanism here on the top is a lock and a spring device for keeping it open because it locks against that here to keep it open but it also when you fold it up you push that slightly sideways and it springs over sideways to keep it closed as well I haven't done the final sharpening to the blade yet at all. You push that thing right up even with the handle and that protects the blade. That handle's got a little bit of curvature here to it to hide the point. Decent little folder made from nothing but a file and a piece of rebar and a 16 penny nail. Good little project just to practice making a folding style knife would be a great little project to do with your young in the backyard I have not uh, put it on a stone yet the edge it has on it now is coming strictly from the grinding itself it's not uh, it's not horribly bad it does okay they're taking fine shavings you can see those curls is getting there those aren't too shabby
All right, I haven't put this folding knife on stone yet. This is just what I'm getting right off the buffer. But it is complete. It does work exactly the way I envisioned it to work now. It folds up really nice and stays in place. It locks backwards when I open it up. It's got a comfortable grip. I can choke up on it for fine carving, things like that, as you can see there. It does everything that I want to do on the cheap. So, there you go. I apologize that it took me till today to get the second part of this video up. It wasn't because I didn't have the knife finished. It was because I had to leave town for a couple days to shoot some things for National Geographic. And for the last seven months, I've been working on a project for National Geographic, and I've been a little guarded with the subject because I wasn't allowed to release the information. But now, um, Nat Geo has given me permission to go ahead and release the information that I will be uh, one of the three people starring in a new show called Dirty Rotten Survival that will air September 15th on National Geographic at 9, 10 Central Time. It will be following the second season of Live Free or Die. We will be the show that comes on right after that. Again, it's called Dirty Rotten Survival. There's three of us on the show, myself, Dick Strawbridge, and Johnny Littlefield. Three buddies traveling across the country doing different types of survival and manginuity type challenges doing with what we have. MacGyvering, different things, doing survival, doing different types of challenges, just an all-around good time. Three buddies having a blast, no drama, just good times, good learning, and good fun. I'm Dave Canterbury. I appreciate you joining me for this video. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business. I thank you for supporting me over the last few years and also for supporting my website, my Facebook page, my social media like YouTube, and for watching all of my videos and leaving the comments that you leave. I apologize again that this video took me a couple, three extra days to get it out, but I had to come back real quick and finish it up and get that footage put together for the end of this video because I only had about three or four minutes of footage on the second half so I wanted to get this announcement in at the same time. I'll be beginning another series of videos here in the next few days. I'll be doing a very in-depth study on Swedish woodcraft and I want to discuss that with you and talk about some of the ins and outs, some of the tools that are used, some of the basic tools that you use, some of the things that you do and it kind of leads back to the history of why the Mora knife is such a popular bushcraft type knife. It all stems back to Sloyd and Swedish woodcraft. Again, I thank you guys for joining me in this video, and I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.